Jacob Abrian. Hello, Jacob. How are you tonight? Hi, how are you? <laughs> Jacob is the, is the founder of uh, the Fashion Council. Um, what, is, what is Fashion Council? What, what, what is it exactly? So, um, when we speak about a Fashion Council, let's, let's mention a fashion system okay. or umbrella that can contain everything related to fashion industry from fashion designers, of course, but not only the fashion designers are the main element of the fashion industry. You have um, a huge group that works to support anything, such as editorial. Of course. Let's say if you open a magazine, you see editorial. Who is behind this editorial? It's not only the fashion designer. You have the models, the hairstylist, the makeup, the um, stylist, yes, the art director. Yeah. It's a whole team. So the Art Fashion Council is the um, the largest non-profit fashion association that represents the biggest geographical area, 22 Arabic countries, right. and it aims to create and establish a fashion system that can co connect together all the Arab countries. Right. Um, when we speak about con connecting all Arab countries together, it means to have the database, the pipeline, or the infrastructure where you can have all this team at any place, everywhere, from all the 22 Arabic countries. It's something, of course, it's not, uh, it's not easy to create because it's something that doesn't exist. Of course. Um, the Arab countries are, are, they have a lot of creative people, yes. but they are not, you cannot find all the creative people in the same country. If we speak about manufacturing, for example, if you, need to, if you go to one Arabic country, you will find one, one type of manufacturing, but you cannot find all the details. Of course. So, but when we speak again about 22 countries, you can find all the types in the 22 Arabic countries. You really don't need to go outside. Definitely. So our main job is to create this database and this umbrella yeah. so we can have our own, we can become a, um, a producing society instead of being only consuming society. This is um, very important and it's very important as well to um, have a connection between the creative mind yes. and the commercial mind. That's how you bring forward a fashion brand. Definitely, definitely. So what impact do you think um, Arab Fashion Week is going to make on the fashion world in general? So let's say that the Arab Fashion Week, um, here we played it in a strategical way. The Arab Fashion Council is really young. It's just one, um, one year old yes, now. Yes, it's the first yeah, edition. It's, it's its first yes. year, but it's, it's the youngest council in the world. But let's say it really has um, a lot of people inside, professional people who are di holding different departments, and we are around maybe 200 people working in the Arab Fashion Council. Right. Um, it's spread all over the world, and we yes. start to open offices, branches, um, representing offices around the Arab world and as well in, uh, in Europe. So um, the, the Arab Fashion Week is like you buy the key before you buy the car. Yes. Usually, Fashion Week should be a celebration of, yes. of establishing the fashion system. Yes. But we believe in the Arab world, um, it should be taken um, vice versa. Yes. That you launch the Fashion Week with the already established and existing Arabic designers, which we are yes. going to um, see later. Definitely. And this will create awareness. Right. And this will make people more aware what does the mean of the fashion system. Yes. Because if you don't have fashion yes. system, you cannot discuss it's, it. Of course. Very logical. Then you need to yes. you need to create a fashion event, fashion buzz, and yes. um, make people aware, excited, yes. make people feel yes. happy even when yes. they want to go out to select their outfit. Of course, of yeah, course. So they will be waiting. They will be more collaborating. Yeah. Um, one year ago, when we started to speak about the fashion system, nobody yes. understood what is fashion system. Now everybody is supportive. That's true. And every time, we, every um, every day, we have people joining more and more. Yes. That's great. It's a must. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So we're closing tonight already. It went by so fast and a lot of great creative uh, designers uh, for these past three days. What were your personal impressions and uh, what were you feeling? Like, how is your feeling right now? How are you feeling about, about the whole venue and the whole event? Actually, it's a very beautiful question. I, um, being used to attend only the fashion weeks, uh, um, the big four fashion weeks, right. New York, London, Milan, and Paris, and now attending the Arab Fashion Week, I don't see the difference. Yeah. <laughs> and I believe this is the achievement. This is, makes me very happy because yes. we worked for this. We worked yes. that the Arab Fashion Week is yes. the, the official and the yes. unique Fashion Week in the Arab Absolutely. world that positions the Arab yes. world and the international map of yes. fashion, which is already there. Which is already there. You yes. can go and check the international calendar. 
you can see New York, London, Milan, Paris, yes. and you see Dubai, yes. Arab Fashion Week. So yes. I'm very thankful yeah. to the Arab Fashion Council to do this job and um, create Dubai as the, the international capital of fashion. Yes, yes, yes. We had with us during these three days um, per, um, important figures from, mm -hmm. from the fashion industry Absolutely. from all over the world. And uh, they were very impressed. They, it was upon their expectation, and even much, much more than they, they expected. Right. Um, the people, I just hear feedback. Um, people speaking um, and saying, "It's uh, this is this is the event that we are looking for."